Hello everybody, welcome to DIY Tuesday. We are so excited to have you here today. We are going to be talking about the new um, winter lookbook that we have coming out in less than a week. Actually, I think it might be coming out tomorrow and we're really excited for that. So if you don't know what our lookbooks are, they have a variety of products that we have in there and highlights. And then we also have, of course, the gorgeous DIY stickers that go along with the DIY download. So that winter download will be available as soon as the lookbook is available. And don't forget that we also have those food recipes in the lookbook as well. So this recipe is actually from the lookbook for the winter edition, the 2017 edition. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we're gonna to be making peppermint essential oil brownies and I'm so excited for this. So what we have here is we have our flour and sugar. Now I've already combined these just for the sake of combining them. Then we also have our melted butter and cocoa powder. And then of course we have melted coconut oil, eggs and vanilla and then our peppermint oil. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I've actually already combined the sugar and flour, so that's totally fine if you do that. Um, but what we're gonna do, so that is one cup of sugar and then two thirds of a cup of flour. So you're gonna combine that and then you just want to put everything in. Also, just to let you all know, we do have um, an event coming up this Thursday. So if you haven't joined that already, do that. It is our Winter Wonderland monthly party and we're really excited for it. We actually have some really cool educational classes that are gonna be happening that day. So that's this Thursday, the 26th of January. And we are going to be having everything from business building tools to weight loss tools with TerraFit to even an essential oil cooking class. And if you come to the store, you'll get to uh, taste some of those soups that we're making. So if you can, make it to the store because it is going to be amazing and we're really excited. So what we're gonna do here with this recipe is you're gonna wanna have already preheated your oven to about 325 degrees and you're going to want to put your eggs in warm water so they'll um, warm up to room temperature. It just kind of helps them get mixed in easier um, when everything is around the same temperature. So what we're gonna do is I've already prepared my mini muffin pan here and we have, so I've put butter in it. You can do cooking spray butter. Um, I'm sure coconut oil works too. And so go ahead and set that aside for now. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to take our butter, um, coconut oil and cocoa powder and combine it in this bowl. Now this is six tablespoons of melted butter that we have here. And then we also have two tablespoons of melted coconut oil. So you are going to want to heat this up either on the stove or in the microwave. And we're just going to go ahead and mix that until we have a good consistency here. And then as soon as we have kind of this pasty, perfect, this is looking so good. Um, so we're going to want to mix this really well because this is kind of going to be the foundation for the rest of the ingredients. So you want to make sure this is all mixed in really well. And... This is, it's gonna be, I mean, it kind of feels like Play-Doh is really what it looks like when you're done mixing. So as soon as I have this, now we're going to add the cocoa powder and vanilla. So we're gonna add one tablespoon of vanilla. Get the top off of this one. And I'm mean, sorry, teaspoon, one teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna put that in here. And then But now we're just going to mix this and get it everywhere because I'm a habitual mess maker, apparently. Um, so you can even go ahead and add your eggs at this point. It might help with the consistency of this because it is really kind of chunky and it's really hard to mix by itself. So we're going to go ahead and add the eggs. So we're just going to go ahead and add these two eggs really quick. And that should help with the batter consistency. Um, I would recommend adding your essential oils last simply because it's going to help them be a little bit more um, evenly distributed through your mix. If you have kind of a good, um, like, I don't want to say consistency again, but it really is a good consistency 
of um, this batter, you're going to want to make sure that everything's really mixed in there. And it is going to be a little bit hard to mix, but that's just because, you know, you're adding that coconut oil, which is going to naturally start to harden as, as it starts to cool. So eventually you're going to end up with kind of, it's not going to be runny like your typical brownie batter, but that's totally okay and we can work with it. So, um, mine is a little bit chunky, but you know, it comes with not having a hand mixer. So I would recommend using a hand mixer for this unless you have really strong arms and then use your arms. But, um, so once your batter looks kind of like this, you are going to want to add your peppermint oil. So this is where you're going to add about And then another fun option that you could do is if you have people who don't like peppermint or, um, you know, if you don't, if you want it to be super minty, um, we figured out that you can actually, if you want to create a frosting and then put peppermint oil in that frosting, you could do, if you're entertaining and making these for guests or whatnot, um, you can always put that and peppermint oil in the frosting and then have some brownies that are frosted and some that are not just so that everybody is happy um these smell really good by the way and they smell even better when they're baking so what you're going to do is you are going to just spoon some of this into your muffin pan here and like i said it's not going to be a super soupy consistency so you just kind of want to push some in there maybe to the halfway mark there i promise my hands are clean um, and then as soon as you've got this filled up, pop it in the oven for about eight to 11 minutes and you're ready to go. And those will be done and they're perfect and they smell so good. And they're really good for any family gathering. If you have friends, um, even if you want to take them to an essential oil class, it's really a good way for people to get to experience the oils. Um, and they'll start to ask questions like, oh, I didn't know you could cook with this. And then you can kind of nice thing is that we are going to have these available for anybody who comes in store to our Winter Wonderland event. Now, if you can't join us in store, that's totally okay. Join us online on our Facebook event. We have posted in our Facebook page before this um, about that event. And that is this Thursday, the 26th. So we will have online classes as well as games and giveaways, but we will doing, be doing some massive giveaways and raffles in the store. So we really encourage you guys to come and be a part of those live events if you can. And thank you so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday and we're really excited to see you for Feature Friday. See you then.